Hi, this is Jan from Scalingo. Today we're going to talk about Scalingo Run, which is the run subcommand of Scalingo command line client. Scalingo Run actually launches a new container which is a complete copy of the application environment. Same code, same Docker image, same environment variables. We'll begin with a very simple example. We want to list the content of an application built by Scalingo. So, I will specify uh, the name of the application with the dash "-a", option. So it's scanningo dash page dash production, then run, then the actual command I want to run, which is ls in that case. So this is the list of files and directories of the application. But let's do something more useful. Let's run an entire bash shell. Okay with a nice welcome message. Uh, it's a real shell, so you can even run an ls command. So this is a completely new and temporary container running the exact same image built by Scalingo from your last patch of code. Uh, the exact same image with the exact same environment variables. I can show, I can display some uh, environment uh, variables like app, which is a completely dynamic environment variable uh, injected by uh, Scanningo at uh, build time or at launch time, sorry, uh, or container underscore version, which is the uh, Docker image uh, ID of the build, or even some variable defined by myself, by myself, like asset underscore host. So that means that you can look at all uh, variables like the database connection string. So you can connect to database from this temporary container and do all kind of fancy stuff in a complete temporary way. But remember, this is a complete copy of the application environment and the file system is completely ephemeral. So that means that file changes are here won't impact your production application. So if you change the source code of your, of your application here, when you exit the run command, uh, your changes will be completely lost. But uh, let's exit this bash. So this application is a Rails application. So I can run a Rails console against it. This is a real uh, Rails console. I can run some Ruby code inside it. Okay, and exit this console. So that's all for today. Thank you. Bye.